I just feel like I've, you know, I had her backed up against the rope multiple times, pushed her back, um, landing clean shots, snapping her head back. So I think to, I gave away the first first round or two, but after that, I feel like I won every round. So her being the champion that she is, like I said, she'd want to give it, give me a rematch. And is that something you're open to, Natasha? I mean, anything's possible. He's stronger. I know he's uh, physically stronger than uh, Canelo. Many people talk about his uh, power, but they forget about his technique. You got a lot of presence knockers? Yeah. Santa Claus came for you in January? <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah! The morning after. Look! I got my coffee, my black toast yogurt. A little bit of cream. Group! I am group. That's right. It's the morning after. And yes, I, I usually be in my, you know, kitchen saying the morning after. But I'm getting up bright and early to play Pal World. I'm going to be doing this all damn day. But first, business. We got to talk about Michaela Mayer getting rough, rough, rough by Natasha Jonas out there in Liverpool. Yes, I know there were a few of you guys in the comments and I just have to respond to this saying in order to be the champion, you got to beat the champion. And I'm going to say this again. Time and time again, I've said it and I'm going to say it again. You just got to win. Last time I heard winning is beating. And that whole you got to beat the champion prick that phrase was coined during the time when mobsters was running boxing. And I keep telling you guys this. Stop just saying phrases over and over again as if it's just true because it's damn old and ancient. Listen, that was just a way for these mobsters to have these fans, boxing fans, believe, okay, it's okay that the challenger got wrong. Listen, they had their champion. They wanted to keep them champion. So they came up with that phrase and that shit and we keep repeating it. That is not helping the sport of boxing. You saw last night, Strickland lost, okay? If you lose, you lost. I don't give a damn who you are, if you got a belt or not. We saw that with Sugar Ray Leonard versus Marvelous Marvin Hagler, one of the closest, greatest fights of all time. The more you watch that fight, the closer it gets. I still think Marvelous Marvin Hagler won. And the closest I saw it was a draw. But Sugar Ray Leonard, he got the nod. Did he just destroy the champion? No! I beat him. I beat him and he knows it. Everybody knows. I knew if it was too close. I told you about Vegas. Okay, so when do you pick and choose when that phrase fits? And I'm going to tell you guys, winning is enough. And for me, Mayor didn't just squeak out a win. She beat her and beat her ass. That's right. I think Mayor beat her up. So with that said, I think Mayor got robbed. You saw them talking about a rematch. And Jonas, I, I just don't think a rematch is in her plans. The fights that I saw winning tonight would keep the doors open for that. Obviously for me, with, with so many limited fights left, they're the ones that I'm looking for. But... No, say it ain't so. We're going to have to pressure Jonas, all right, into doing what's right. Mayor deserves a second chance. And like Mayor said when she was talking about not every fight deserves a rematch, right? But when it's close, it deserves one. I only believe that rematches should happen if they're warranted. We had a rematch clause on her side, not on my side, but this is a warranted rematch. I feel like I deserve another shot and I want to go. And really, if we're getting rematches with Fury and Deontay Wilder, we're getting rematches with uh, uh, Errol Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford and a possible rematch with Canelo Alvarez and Bevel and shit like that, then there's not a fight that deserves a rematch more than Mayer versus Natasha Jonas. Now, let's move forward to Bevel. Listen, Bevel had an interview and it just made me think about Bibble versus Better BF and how that fight would go. And I want to repeat a point that I said before because I just kind of mentioned it during the Better BF versus Colin Smith live stream commentary. And that's Bibble. He doesn't have a finisher state of mind. He is smart, technical fighter, but maybe too smart and too technical. Some fights, you got to go and hurt them. 
Some fights, you got to be primal. And some fighters wouldn't accept anything other than that to lose the damn fight. And that's better BF. Bivol, we have the receipts. When he goes and gets you and he's letting his hands go, he backs up. He recharged his batteries, as Chris said. 15 seconds to go. Cut his... Look at him go. Oh, my word, Beaver. And can I... He's giving us the Mexican style. And you wonder why he has a 50% KO ratio, and his last knockout was damn in 2018. Listen, he doesn't have that killer instinct to finish. And there may be a lot of reasons why being super smart, I don't want to put myself in harm's way. Or being super smart, I don't want to tire myself out. Or when he throws those combinations, some people just don't have the instinct to finish you and know how to finish you. But against better BF, you can't let your hands go and reset and start back boxing because those are looks that better BF has seen before and was extremely successful against before. You talking about Brown. You talking about Volsic. You talking about Colin Smith. These are the type of things he's saying. Hell, you talking about Anthony Yard. And better BF, the one thing that he understands more than points scored, more than a good jab. What he understands more than all those things is pain. You want to know why I know that that's what he understands? Because that's the one thing he is determined to deliver to you, and that's pain. So Bivol, what he's going to have to do is hurt better BF. He's going to have to do those things that make better BF understand that this is a different fight and convince him that maybe he should be kind of smart himself. you got to determine him from going after you and being Jason Voorhees and slaughtering you and better BF he does it with the sweet science high IQ he comes in with different ranges and he has developed one of the better jabs I've seen because that jab that he had against Colin Smith was one of the better jabs in the world kind of reminds me of Triple G who also had a crushing jab one of the better jabs untimed jabs in the world Kovalev at the same time these guys are slaughter primal killers going after you to beat you up and they did it behind a great educated jab and that's what better BF have. I'm going to tell you this, Bibble. In order for Bibble to beat better BF, better BF is going to have to understand that Bibble is going to fight him. And Bibble, I know you love the sweet science and technical, and you said yourself, I hope that being, you know, technical and being a great boxer is enough to beat better BF. I, I hope the skills should win. And uh, I hope I have enough skills to win this fight. I'm saying it may not be. Let me know how you all feel in the comments below. Shaw Biz Villa. Don't now let me play Pal World for the rest of the damn day. If you guys see me later today with the video, I'll be shocked my damn self. I'm out. Shh.